Omnam, Adaini no Maturas Beze. However, it's still not answered with this. Mashakasov Mikamocha Bekeli Mavaya, who is like you amongst the strong Hashem. The Kalim, whatever the Kalim should be the Sharamban. The Ramban says that this means Ki Mikamocha Be Malachi Maila, who is like you amongst. The angels above, Shem Nikraim Elim, that they are called the strong ones or the Elim. Vagam Nikra Elohim Hulu. They are also called Elohim. Vaal Kel Elim, Yadabir Daniel Semin Yudalaf Lamad Vav. And it uh, uses the expression to the ke- upon the Kel Elim, he will speak in Daniel. So to the Bechai says in Parshas Lech Lecha on the verse that he's the Kohen to kill Elion, you can hear Kodesh Baruch Hu kill Elion. So Kodesh Baruch Hu is called the High Kale, meaning to say that there's lower Kales, the Malachim, and the High Kale, as as the Ebishtim, Ki Elion I'll call Elokim Chulu because he's above all the Elokim, meaning all the angels. Achin Kasa Bishala. When the Shalah explains the verse by Yisro, that he, now I know that Havai is greater than all the Elohim, meaning the angels. The ministers that conduct the uh, order of creation. They are called the Elohim. Mahashem sends them to do his bidding. We say that Hashem, our God, is the Eloke of the Elohim. Alkin Amar Yisro, so that's why Yisro said, Ata Yodati, Kigot Lavai Mikol HaElokim. That Havai is greater than all the Elohim, is the Omi Kamocha Bekeli Mavaya. So that's the meaning also, who is like you amongst the Kelim Hashem? So to it says in Tilim, there's no one like you amongst the Elohim Hashem, and there's none like your deeds. So it says there's no one like you. I don't know what Angle, meaning the but but in the heights, anyways. So there's no one like you in the heights. There's no one like you amongst the angels. Hashem. The dollar is, is Hashem. And there's none like your deeds. But we need to understand. why We have all these different sources that use... Kale and Elohim for the angels. The Halon Emar and Hashem is greater than them. It needs it needs to be understood. The Halon Emar me baladai in Elohim. That other than me, there's no Elohim. Be Emes be Medrash Raba vayeschana and Dafresh Tzadik Amor Gimel al Pasuk Kia vayahu Elohim in Ormil Vado. And Medrash Raba in Parshas Vayeschana it says that on the verse that Avaya is the Elohim. There's none other. Nasnu Dofi b'divre Yisro. They gave a, a a criticism to the words of Yisro b'Omra when he said ki got lavai mikol elokim that havai is greater than all the elokim. That the opposite of that is 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 true. That because there's no other, there's, you can't say there's greater than the elokim. Havai hu ha elokim einud milvado. There's nothing else. That's why it says in Medrash Rabba Vaischana. That, and they said that he gave some place for, for idol worship in this, that he he gave them some kind of existence that about saying Hashem is greater. That that implies that they are great, but he, it's just that Hashem is greater than them. But the, the truth is that there's no other Elohim. Hashem is the Elohim. There's none other at all. We need to understand, or we need to say this that they 
uh, blamed Yisro Harayish, Gam Ken Kama Psukim Ken. But didn't we just just bring that there's Psukim that, that do imply this? Kamo Kiyavaya Elokechem Hu Elokeha Elokim? Just like the, the verse that uh, Avaya Yur Elokechem is the Elokeh of the El of the Elokim. Seeming to say that there is other Elokim, but he's the Elokeh of them. This is also mentioned in the Mimer, in the in Siddur, to make um, about Brismila, they should make swords of of out of like rock and so forth. The Pedrash Halukim, what does it mean? Hello, Halukim. So the Elukim means Zanu Kuf Kaf That is the one hundred and twenty combinations of the. Letters of the name Elohim Shem Sinoros Lahavara Sashat Shefa Mishem Havaya. That they are conduits to bring down the flow from the name Havaya. Lachain Shem Havaya Nikra Eloke Elohim. That's why the name Havaya is the, so to speak, Eloke of the Elohim, because it's the source of the flow that goes through the conduits which corresponds with the name Elohim. But the Ibn Ezra says that he may be blessed is the God of the angels that are called the Elohim. And that was also the explanation of the Ramban and the Bechai that we brought before. That's what the Bechai also says in Pashi Sisro. On the verse, you should not have any other Elohim for yourselves. And in the name of the Ranban, he says that as well there. On that verse. And at, at first glance, that we need to, it, 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 in truth, we need to understand. And Menachos it says, It says, about the idol worshippers that they call Hashem, the God of their gods, the God of gods. And, and it says this in the Gemara about them, that this is a sin for them, that this is a, something wrong that they say. This is not just a, a simple fact of truth that the non-Jews recognize, but that this is a falsehood. Because there's no other Elohim other than Hashem. But the Pasuk already but does say this. The Pasuk says he's the God of the gods. And those that are below him, he gave. But we can answer. That the Marsha explains that this that they say that they call him the God of Gods, is that they're saying that those that are below him, he gave some kind of strength and, and ruling. And, and that's their viewpoint by saying this, is to say that the high God, so to speak, the, that's higher than the other gods, is not watching the world below anymore. Does not look at the lowest world. That's the end of the quote from, from the Maharsha. And we must say that that's how the Gemara is, is viewing it there. That they also, it also says there that they don't recognize Israel. And not their God in heaven. So if they really recognize the Evishter, they it wouldn't say that they don't recognize Israel and their God and their Father in heaven. So they mean something else when they say, They mean to say that he's above and beyond and doesn't mashkiach. Look what Rashi says on, on Malachi on the verse from the east of the sun until it's coming. My name is great amongst the nations. Even those that are above him, 
that even those who have idol who are idol worshippers, you know, you know that there is an Elohim that's above all of them. Like this is like the Marsha says that he's above all of them, but does not concern him, him, uh, himself with the low, lowest world. But in the verse that Hashem, your Elokechim, is the Eloke of the Elokim, this clearly states that he specifically for himself in his honor and in, in essence, Mashkiach Ba'olamatachton as concerns himself with the lowest world, could the Messiah. And like it finishes there in the Pasuk, The great and strong and awesome God who does not show favoritism and does not take bribes. He does the judgment of the... of the Yosom, the uh, one with her parents, Almana and the... The, the woman who's lost her husband, the orphans and the widows, and he loves the converts, to give them bread and clothing, food and sustenance, and, and, and garments. And this is, this is what took him in the Torah. It says very clearly that Abishtu himself is involved in looking over and watching out for the poor and destitute. And says in Megillah, in the Gemara, Rabbi Yochanan says, that any place you find the strength of the Holy One, blessed be He, you find also the same place the humility of. And so it brings you the Pasuk. It says in the Torah, Hashem, your Elokechim, is the and the master of the masters. And it says afterwards, that he does the judgment of the um, orphan and the widow. And what it says about this Indian in Shishim Hima Malachos. Vasham Perak Bez, and over there in the second parak, Gabi Bamakum Gudulaso Shama Tamatsa Mutsa and Vasanusu. And there also brings this idea that the place of his greatness you find is his humility. Nimsumatura Sakoshia. So now we found then that we've answered the question. The Mashikas of Kiavaya Lukehimu Luke Lukim. That this that it says Havaya, your God is the Eluke of the Elukim in the Khas Shalom Kinin de Karala Yalukadi Lukaya. It's not the same thing as saying that the, the nations called him the God of Gods. But rather exactly the opposite. This is, is, is implying his greatness. And his, and his humility. That since he's above all, therefore, he doesn't differentiate between above and below because it's all the same to him. Therefore, he also concerns himself with everything down here just like above. Because above and below are equal to him. Like it says in the Kutitor. But still not answer the question, how is, he called the, how is he calling the angels Elohim? But in, in, and we still have this, this contradicting Pasuk that says that Hashem is the Elohim. There's no other. That other than me, there's no Elohim. So why are we calling the angels Elohim? Kitzer. So in short, Inyan Mika Mocha Bekelim Avaya. The concept of who is like you amongst the Kelim Hashem. Who coined the Kel Elyon. The concept of he is the Kohen to the Kel Elyon. The one above the others. In Kamocha Belukim Adnai. There's no one like you amongst the Elukim. These are Psukim that imply that there's a concept of angels, Elukim, under the Evishter. And he's the Elukim of the Elukim. Perisha Shalash Shal Derezu Mashakaz of Yisro Kigot Levaya Mikol Elukim. And the Shalah implies. To Yisrael, that this is the same thing when he says that Havai is greater than all the Elohim. And 
And like the words of the Shalah is also implied in, in the Medrash Kohel, and here that's a Mahzadik in his Kitzer, Kedarko brings Epes HaChidosh, that this is also in Medrash Kohelas, on the verse that he did everything beautifully in its time. But Medrash Rabba, Rish Pashas Ve'ila Hadvarim Amnam, but Medrash Pashas Ve'ezchan on Al Pasuk Ve'edait Ha'yom, however, in Medrash Ve'ezchan, on the verse that you should know today, Amru Deshalo Kahogan Amar Yisro, it says that Yisro did not say properly, because there's no other than him. And Yisro said, he, I know, now I know he's greater than all the Elohim, but there's no Elohim other than him. This needs to be understood because in Torah itself it says that Hashem Elokeichem is the Elokeichem of the Elohim, that there seems to be other Elohim, that the Evishtu is above. Because even though this is not, God forbid, like, like it says on the verse, that from east to of, of the rising of the sun to the setting, my name is great amongst the nations, Shamru Razal, let us just sit upon this. That they call him the God of gods. The Shamhainu. That there, it's like the idea that the nations say that Hashem is greater, is above all the nations, meaning to say above and does not concern himself, watch over the lowest world. But rather, Exactly the opposite. It's like the the fact that he's a high above, that he sits above. Yosem Ebrinas Ramchulu, higher than the concept of Al Shemayim Kfodo, that his uh, his honor is above the heaven. The fact that he's even higher than that. Al Kina Mashpili Liros Bashemayim of Aretz, that he's not just in the heavens. He's not just above, but he's higher than above. Therefore, he also comes down to see Bashemayim of Aretz in the heavens and the earth. Bashva Achas equally in the heavens and the earth. And, and, and does the judge the judgment of the orphan and the widow. But we still have the question, How does he call the angels? It says, look and see, the Pasuk says, that there's, there's no Elohim with me. So, so that still needs to be answered.